Do you have portraits where you want to get rid of bad blemishes, acne, etc.? Do you want to make your model's skin look flawless? You can do all of this by using your smartphone. Hi guys, my name is Logan Koch, creator of Koch Visuals, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can retouch skin like a pro in Adobe Lightroom Mobile, all on your smartphone. Let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so we're going to be hopping into Lightroom Mobile right now, and this is the picture that I've chosen for this video. Now for the skin retouching, we're going to be going after the dots on our face, the cracks in the makeup, um, little lines in the face, like the stress marks on the forehead that we don't want there to really make this skin look flawless. First, I'm going to do uh, my preset, and we're going to speed this up a little bit, and we'll catch you back when we're ready to start doing the skin retouching. Alright guys, we're back, and we're ready to start doing the skin retouching area. First thing we're going to do is zoom in on the face and see what we want to attack first. The first thing we want to attack first here is going to be these little dots on the face. Yes, some of them are freckles and we're not going to touch those, um, but some of them are little blemishes, pimples, marks that we don't want on there. So we're going to select the healing tool. We're going to go in and we're going to get rid of these. Now the trick is to try and find skin that looks almost exactly identical to um, the area that you're trying to mask over, right? So that looks good right there. Let me get rid of this crack right there. There's a little bit of blemish in right here. Get rid of that, make it look seamless. And I don't like that light spot that's right there. It's still there. <laughs> this is a very tedious, tedious job to do, also on the phone. Um, it is not fun. A lot of people question me why I do this, um, but I enjoy it. It's how I edit my photos, uh, so we're going to run with it. Um, let's keep it going. Go up here, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's go in here, right there. Get rid of these little blemishes and stuff that we don't want. Get rid of that, and that, and that. Very, very detailed job of getting rid of these. Right there. All right, let's start moving up on the face a little bit more. Get rid of this. Smooth that out. Get rid of these little marks. We'll get rid of these. It doesn't really make sense to keep those there. A um, little mark by the eyebrows we can get rid of. And then the stress marks on the forehead. Because we're all pretty stressed out about COVID right now. Everyone's got stress marks. And it sucks. Another cool trick, um, if you're trying to get like a certain area over and over again, is to go in, do this, and then hit this, and then you don't run into going in here and accidentally moving um, your selection that you just did. And then it becomes easier, you can sort of get in there a little bit more nitty gritty, um, and really just focus on the little spots that you're trying to get specifically. Da, da, da. Alright, it's looking good, looking good. Alright, now, the next part of this skin retouching is probably my favorite part. Alright, so as soon as I finish this one right here, get that there. Looking good, looking good, we'll get rid of that. 
All right, the next, the next aspect of it is the skin smoothing. So we're gonna go down here to the selective tool, go in here, select the paintbrush. And you guys remember from the last video, we just sort of focus on the face, we paint everything, um, just so that we're not missing anything. Um, so, and then we go to the eraser tool and we get rid of the painting on the eyes and the eyebrows because we want these to still be in detail nice and crisp you know and then we're gonna go into the mouth and erase that away so that the lips are still in focus as well and then we're going to go to the effects bring the texture down to like 35 and then the clarity negative 19 Right about there and then we'll dehaze it a little bit to sort of lighten it up a little bit right now we got to go and get the rest of the skin so we paint just over the skin that we can see right down here on the hand smooth up the skin and then just a little bit right over here smooth that up and now we're rocking now we can see the difference in the blemishes and everything, the skin just looks flawless. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a like, drop a comment, let me know what you thought of this video. Is this a viable way to skin retouch in Adobe Lightroom Mobile? And drop me a comment, let me know what you want to see next. Are there any videos that you want me to do? Are there any tools in Adobe Lightroom Mobile that you want me to do a video on? Are there any other apps that you want me to do a video on? Like Photoshop for the iPad Pro or LumaFusion, which is what I'm using to edit all of my videos on, on my iPad Pro. Let me know what you want to see. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.